another one I want to show you is uh, data migration using Microsoft Excel. Now, there was a change here in this story compared to the 2013 version, so pay close attention. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do here is I have prepared a file, so something that I may have received from uh, from somebody, like a list of items. And there's a list of items, and you can definitely recognize any uh, demo data. So, okay, I have a bunch of furniture that I want to bring into my application. So the easiest way to do it would be through the rubber stuff. So there are there are multiple ways of doing that. So you can, you can build an XML port, you can use full data field, you can use .NET interrupt to do this. But you can also use the generic features such as Rapperstock to just bring this data into the system without any code. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's go into our original company. small demo package for that. So there's a list of, so let's say that you want to bring in the list of external items into your system. So I go and create this package that can consist of only one table. And since I don't want to, now I want to push it out into Excel template. And since I don't want my existing items to be pushed out into Excel, I will just set a filter on the item table that I want, I don't want any of the existing items to be exported into Excel template. Okay, so what I will do, and by the way, you can, you can take a look into my fields menu, and in, you can see that I've only marked a few fields to be exported to Excel, not all of them, because item has like 500 different fields, and I only need this one. So I just uh, removed all of them, and then I marked the ones that I need. Okay, so now I'm ready to push it out into Excel template. Items. So now I have my items. Okay, let's go and take a look at, at this list that I received. So the list is has a certain structure. So first I can see that there is a description, then there is a unit price, then net weight and gross weight. If I take a look at my template, then there's a the description and base unit of measure, and then unit price, and then gross weight. So it's all mixed up. So I could of course try to copy paste one by one the columns, but that would be really tedious. So the thing that has changed in, in, in 2013, R2 version, is that you can by changing the order of fields, you can determine the order of columns in Excel. <coughs> so that, that came from, from many partners asking for this feature. So if I go into the fields menu and then say, okay, let's take a look here. So there's a description and then unit price. So I need to go into the unit price, move it up. Then the next one. Net weight, gross weight, basic unit of measure. So we'll go to net weight. Gross weight. Base unit of measure, tariff number, just slide it down. So now I have exactly the same structure as this input file that I received from whatever external source there is. So I go back to, to NAD, export to itself. Now they are in the same order as, as this big file. So I can open it on another tab. Well, you know the drill, right? So open data 
and then import the uh, text, just select the whole block and paste it into, into the new application. So, so that's, that's much more, more convenient to move data from one place to another now. 